Welcome to the channel guys. If you are a frequent visitor, you may have seen me a while back if you've been with me a while. I did a review of the Steel Dive version of this watch. Now Addy's Dive, I know the name isn't quite as good as Steel Dive, but the price that I managed to pay for this Addy's Dive, all included, was £71. And that's a nice little chunk less than the Steel Dive versions, which are generally, including taxes, going to be over the 100 so if you have a budget of less than £100 and you just love the look of these Willard homages and you don't want to spend too much, are you going to get something totally junk with awful quality control and all that stuff with this Addy's dive? I was intrigued. I'm wondering if you are. This review is going to cover all that and are you going to get a cracking watch for your money? So let's take a look. So here's a little sketch I've done of all the stats and specs you're going to need. We're just going to fly through that. Then we can analyse this piece close up. And you get to find out overall, is this the right watch for you? So what a great set of specs for your £71 all in. I was very impressed with that. And that's something we're kind of used to with these AliExpress watches. But does it all amalgamate together to create a watch that you're actually going to enjoy wearing and be proud of and be impressed by for such a low amount of money? That's where we're going to get into a bit more detail now. So let's take a closer look. So straight off the bat, I'm going to just discuss with you the little things I may have noticed with this piece that you're going to need to know about that I feel like are just a bit off, but... None of them are deal breakers. I'm really impressed. So I'm going to start with the few little things I've noticed. The first thing you may see here is look at the three in here. I'll get out of the way second hand. It's too far to the left. And let's show you some other dates. Let's pop this out and move this out of the way. So we can do a date change. All these bits of the crown are easy to adjust, actually. It's really functional and really easy to do. So pop that out, change the date. This is always just a bit too far to the left. That's the first little tiny snag I've noticed there. The loom on the hands, is, even though it's very good, you've seen the video uh, time lapse in the specs bit, how it lasts really well. It just doesn't quite match. It just looks a bit washed out and a bit milky almost. And I think these hands don't look quite the right thickness or size for this kind of watch. I think it's got chunky indices, it's a chunky looking watch, but then he's got these elegant, dainty little hands with skinny amount of slither of loom in there. It just doesn't quite give that impact. I think the hands could be better. I don't like the logo. I think it's a bit unusual, a bit strange. Addy's dive, what does that mean? A fussy sort of design. A bit easier. It works when it's scaled up a bit on this uh, case back, as you can see here, etched on there. It's nice to have some details on there. Same with what's on the screw down crown. Then I couldn't really find much else. I'm really, you know what? This was a weird watch review. I thought, oh, it's going to be £71. It's not going to be as good as a steel dive. And I go, okay, yeah, the yeah, old oh God, they've really messed up the bezel feel. No, 120 click light but not too light there's no bounce or back play there's no rock on it anywhere it doesn't move at all it feels really good and it lines up absolutely perfectly and it's really nice to have that loomed as well very impressive and then i thought oh the bracelet i'm gonna put that on and it's gonna peel the skin off my wrist pluck all the hairs out no totally fine it's obviously not breathtakingly amazing but solid end links they fit in there totally fine there's no sharp edges anywhere it was a bit of a pain to get on and off, to be honest, because I did swap out and wear it on one of my straps. The, the, most of the time, I just thought it looks better on one of the straps I want to show you in a bit. But, you know, other than that, that was OK. The clasp obviously is a bit cheap, but it, it doesn't bind or get stuck anywhere. Clicks in nicely. Got enough micro adjust. Fits really comfortably. While we're saying that, I'll put it on my wrist so you can see. Yeah, super comfortable on this all solid stainless steel bracelet, which has push pins. Yeah, it's really good. I like all the brushing. Brushing again, I thought, no, it could be scruffy and a bit rough. No, look how smooth it is. It's not coarse. The way you judge brushing is you look how refined it is and smooth and consistent. Any patches missed. Got the circular brushing on the top of the case. Very neat, very smooth. There's no sharp edges anywhere. Slightly sharp there, but honestly, I'm being picky, to be honest with you. And the lugs, the solid uh, end links here with the female 
solid link in there. It all lines up with the uh, case as well, because sometimes that can be high and low spots there. And no, it fits. There's, there's actually zero play in these end links as well. Again, that's a common thing you get with these cheap watches, not on this one. And the only thing I've really, I'm not so sure on this is garishly blue AR coating. I understand maybe it's a bit cheaper from what I understand uh, than clear, but it just, it looks a bit cheap, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm starting to get the hump with these uh, blue ARs because it just doesn't always work with, with the watch and it actually can make it harder to read. It's kind of counterproductive. The, um, the inner rehort here, there's no markers on there. I don't like that. It, what it does, is it helps make the dial look even smaller because... If you look at it, it's quite a big watch, as I showed you in the stats and specs, 44 mil, give or take a fraction. It is, uh, it's got a tiny little dial. It's so tiny and anything. There's a lot of bulk going on here. The actual legible part of the dial is quite small. I've had 34 mil watches with bigger actual visible dial space. And so that makes this look a little bit weird. It's like, um, yeah, proportionally, it's not quite right. It's arguably an ugly bloody thing, but it's somehow cool as well. And the benefit of this weird pillow sort of design of case is you get this way they've put the four o'clock crown here you get this lovely bit of a shroud here to protect it but it does make it sometimes a little bit awkward to undo that's it but that's part of the design and it's not too thick because this weird like lug to lug length you could have a small wrist and wear this because it's not very long it's just wide it's like a blob on your wrist but that's part of the coolness i'd say this is a cool watch um but I'm so on call, so I can't really say anything there. But I am struggling to find anything else you need to know about other than what I've said. Uh, the tiny issues, no deal breakers. The bracelet's not woeful, which it could have been. I've seen it on previous uh, steel dives uh, a year or so ago. They were pretty woeful. Um, but no, not here. They're obviously upping their game a bit, but still keeping these costs nice and low. It's like I said, even with the taxes from China to the UK, £71. NH35 is running at plus eight seconds a day in this. It's running better than the NH35 that is in my San Martin, which costs almost three times the uh, price of this. So, yeah, it's got a slightly squiffy beat error, but it's still within tolerances, I would say, hopefully. I don't know, but it's running fine. That's the end of the day. Does it keep good time? Yes. So, happy days with that. I'm struggling to find much else to criticise about this watch. Um, positives are still glowing, really. The transitions are pretty neat between the brushing and polishing. They're not ultra crisp obviously because that takes a little bit more care and refinement you're not going to get that at this price but i see here it's not really crisp polishing smooth there's no lumpy bits or rough bits which you can get you can see ripples and things like that it's perfectly acceptable again i am really impressed i've been enjoying this watch and the deal breakers are just not there the positives way outweigh the negatives and before we go i need to show you this on that strap again because that is the one that makes this look so much more authentic and is not too much more of an investment for you to get your watch looking unbelievably good here it is on my tasty waffle i this is a really top seller for many reasons it's really good quality grade of fkm fluoro rubber it's got quick release which you don't always get with these kind of straps and it just perfectly complements and is kind of designed for this type of watch it's a seiko-esque style strap and it's got that texture and depth of aggressive lumps on here to the waffle design that complements the watch in every possible way and as it's a dive watch it's great to have a rubber strap but if you want to take it to a different level have it more of a military style field style watch and you don't want nato straps or nato style which are going to bump the thickness and height of the watch up a little bit i'm going to show you another alternative and here it is on the crazy horse i've got these in loads of different colors and different sizes these sell really well for different reasons but the main reason is this gorgeous soft uh, saddle leather it's just so beautiful and it's got a lovely aging texture to it and finish so i've changed the buckle out to a brush one for another watch i wear this on but that's for a later date but this is another option so if you want to check out my store as well i do sell a lot of straps and i am passionate about them because as you can see such an easy mod to do you can do it yourself you can really transform your watch so if you're a bit of a cheapskate and like to collect watches just like me and you don't have a huge budget or you just think well I've bought so many watches, I just want to have a little top-up watch, which is I'm just interested by. This could be the watch for you. £71, you wouldn't be disappointed. It's got lots of nice enough features, good enough quality control. You can't be disappointed. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.